Hi guys, this is Todd with Real Active Wellness. Thanks for joining me again. We're gonna take it to the next level when we talk about hydration. So there's a hydration one video, this is hydration two. We'll talk a little bit more about the biochemistry. So for those of you science enthusiasts, uh, you're gonna find this pretty fascinating. When we look at hydration, what we need to do is we need to take the water that's in the body and move it into the cells. So the body is composed of hundreds of trillions of cells and water lives inside the cells. That's called intracellular water. It also resides between all the cells. We call that extracellular water. The ratio of these two things are the greatest indicator for current health status. The reasons that water shifts from inside to outside the cell, which is referred to as a negative fluid shift is when our health becomes compromised. This could be because of toxicity, it could be because of inflammation, it could be because of acidity, lack of nutrients, there's a number of other variables. These are probably the big three players. We can measure that for less than a dollar using an FDA approved clinical device. It's absolutely fascinating data. And then what we do with that data is we can help shape someone's nutrition, lifestyle, exercise program. We should see about 60% of the water on the inside of the cell, 40% on the outside of the cell. If we see water start shifting out of the cell, we need to get it back in. But let me tell you how it works. When we look at the cell membrane, we have a tubule here. And this tubule is made of fascia. And in order for water to get inside the cell, it needs to go through this fascial chamber, this fascial tubule. Now there's an enzyme right here as the entire cell membrane is full of enzymes. They're more or less the gatekeepers of what gets in and out. The enzyme here is called hyaluronidase. Now when we hear this word, ace by the way means enzyme, but when we see this word, some of us might be thinking of hyaluronic acid, which we see in a lot of facial products uh, to help with anti-aging and so forth. So if you buy those really nice moisturizers, chances are good it's gonna have a lot of hyaluronic acid in it. And the reason for it is because this enzyme, when activated, pulls or at least allows water to move into the cell. That's the gatekeeper for water displacement in, in and out of the cell. Here's the coolest part about this. If you saw in my hydration one video, I talked about how nutrient density is a critical factor to how hydrated one can become. Just like all other enzymes, this enzyme is highly dependent on nutrients to become active. When there's enough nutrients, it becomes active and it will take this polymer, which is made up of many elements, and it will pull H2O out and move in only when this enzyme is active. And that enzyme, again, is driven by certain nutrients. As soon as those nutrients are depleted, it pulls the water back out along with the toxins and the inflammation and the, the general debris of metabolism. And so you have this really nice feeding, get rid of the waste. Feed, get rid of the waste. This, by the way, is called your primary respiratory mechanisms. It's how our body breathes without our lungs and our, our sinuses and so on. So hyaluronidase is driven by nutrients and those nutrients are the same nutrients that are found in our soil, which is where water comes from. So if you want to significantly improve your hydration, what you need to do is take a good clean water, reverse osmosis or some sort of filtered water, and you need to add back the nutrients that were originally part of the water structure. When we filter water, we not only remove the toxins, the bacteria, things of that nature, we also remove the good nutrients. And then we start to make ourselves wet and not hydrated. Adding a pinch of like a pink Himalayan sea salt or sometimes blue, sometimes gray, depending on what region of the world it came from, will give you the nutrients that you need that originally came with the water actually to activate hyaluronidase so that you can actually hydrate rather than just stay wet. Activating this enzyme is critical. The better you do that, the better you feel. That's how you hydrate. So that's some of the biochemistry 
of hydration. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it got a little bit sciencey, but uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear about it. Contact us on Facebook, Real Active Wellness. Thank you so much.